All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another episode of The Fact Flash. And this evening, I've been joined by the very beautiful, very smart boss woman, Felicia Warner. <laughs> she is the head of recruitment at East London University, and she is in the city of Padodra at Global Colliance. So, over the next few minutes, we're going to have a conversation about her life, her achievements, and how Global Colliance will play a very crucial role in your lives if you happen to come down to this place. or uh, choosing to go to another country or move to another country felicia welcome to india welcome to valodra <laughs> thank you so much krishna and thank you to global clients for having me here i'm i'm really really delighted to be here so how is valodra treating you wonderfully wonderfully i couldn't expect for anything more i absolutely love india and uh, i'm just always enjoying myself and also the food the I food is always sure great the food <laughs> Uh, so, Alicia, uh, like I said, you are the head of recruitment at East London University. So, let's just start uh, by knowing you more. Tell us something about yourself. You're pretty young. Yeah. And you're in a powerful position. So, <laughs> well, thank you. Um, yeah. So, I've had quite an interesting journey, and I think one of the reasons that I resonate so much in in this role specifically is that I actually was an international student mm-hmm. at the University of East London. So, I actually went. and i i studied my mba there and um i say i always say this my poor parents i told them that i was only going to be gone for a year and i've been gone for more than 10 years i i ended up uh loving the university of east london loving the uk and um ended up really just working in different parts of of the university so i can definitely relate to students when they're um when they have kind of questions about the student experience because i've actually lived it and then of course now working as part of the international office and i'm very fortunate to have a very fantastic team and fantastic partners like yourselves um to work alongside and really support those students to get to that point right now uh for the viewers for the students let's talk about the university of east london the kind of education that it is going to offer to anyone who chooses to go there Well, as I probably mentioned before, but I'm slightly biased, of course, because I think the University of East <laughs> London is pretty fantastic. Um, I think what people should expect if they're looking to study at the University of East London is um a very diverse and inclusive university. You're looking at a university that has careers at the forefront of everything that they do, and I think especially with our new vision 2028 we're really focusing on ensuring that the students have the skill sets for the future um now that we're in the the fourth industrial revolution it's um they say it's 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 more um the the skill set that you need the most is actually to be human but one of the things that it, it is because there's all there's so much automation so the thing that really sets people apart is really that that piece of humanity but how do you quantify that Like and he, yeah and here at the University of East London we've done a fantastic job of really taking those skills so you have all of your soft skills so the emotional intelligence and we've managed to quantify it so students when they gr- not only study with us but when they graduate uh from the University of East London will not only get their degree and their transcript but they will also get something called a career passport now as part of this career passport they're actually going to have um bit large companies that we've actually had validate um and accredit like those soft skills that we have embedded into all of our courses. So even if you're looking to stay study fashion, hmm. you are going to get those extra emotional intelligence, uh digital proficiencies, um and all of these different skill sets regardless if you're studying physiotherapy, um fashion, architecture, business, you're going to get those. And I think especially for the parents as well who are investing quite a bit of money obviously for their um for their child to further their education they can rest assured that the return on investment is is significant so when students go at the end of the day i'm sure most parents probably want their kids their son or daughter to get a job <laughs> that is probably the main aim um but to be able to have those skill sets to be able to go to the employer and say hey i not only have this degree but i also have all these additional skill sets that have been validated by by large companies like amazon web services and mm-hmm. microsoft and so all of these are accredited and so when you have that put together it really it, you're able to quantify that and say this is what makes me different right now these days uh since the generation the content creators they are making people very uh, impatient <laughs> so we would want to know uh in a very crisp way five reasons why any uh, student 
should choose the University of East London over any other university in London. Ooh, you're really putting me on the spot for this one. I like <laughs> it. Um, I would say one, as I previously mentioned, that career passport is going to be a big one for us. I would say two, our location in London. We're very fortunate to be one of the few universities um, in London that have a physical campus. I would say the career opportunities that they have within the universities, the opportunity or within the university to get placements, internships, things like that. Our facilities, we've invested millions and millions of pounds uh, into not only our sports facilities, but as part of to build that kind of community campus. And I think the last one would be for that international experience. Right. So <laughs> now that we're talking about international experience, uh, the kind of exposure that mm. any student living in India would be getting in UK or in London would be very different than what they'd get here. So do you want to say something on that? Yeah, and I think I can actually speak on it a little bit because of my, my own personal experience. And one of the things that I, I did mention is that type of um, kind of diversity. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that I found when I was in the classroom, and I think our students will also find, is that you're studying with students from all over the world. And mm -hmm. so uh, when you have a perspective, you're getting a full global perspective when you're looking at it. You're able to um, kind of see things differently. And, it, and I think the thing that really sets students apart is that ability to think differently. And I think when you're exposed to so much, obviously you get opportunity to not only live in the number one student city in the world, um, you get opportunities to say travel on the weekend. It's not uncommon for our students to say, I'm going to Paris for the weekend, <laughs> um, which is crazy to think, um, but, but they, they're able to. And so it doesn't just give you a chance to get a great education. It gives you a chance to get some international work experience. It gives you a chance to not only get to explore a really fantastic city, but it also gives you the keys to really be able to unlock Europe. And so when you kind of put that all together, you're not just getting a great education, you're getting a full international experience that is quite different than, than most other students when you're competing for jobs at the end of the day. I see. Now there are students who are very well deserving and but you know when it comes to India, there are a lot of middle class families over mm -hmm. here who are on budget. They want the children to study, they want the children to study well, but then due to some sort of monetary uh, boundaries, they have to stay where they are and due to budget constraints. So is the university offering some sort of scholarships? Would you like to talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. So we definitely offer international scholarships to our students. Um, they are actually automatically applied to so the student, nice for them, doesn't have to do any additional steps in order to actually get the scholarship. So as soon as they apply, um, if they're eligible for the scholarship, it'll automatically be awarded. So we're always looking for ways to, to support our students in the, in the best way possible and make it as, a, I guess, affordable to have right. that, that experience. All right, Felicia, one last question. To all of our viewers, so we have generally a lot of our viewers are youngsters and students. Mm -hmm. So to them, if you were want to tell them something about the university and something about global alliance. Well, I think the main thing would be is if you're looking to study at the University of East London, please go to Global Alliance because they have been absolutely amazing and one of our trusted partners to be able to not only kind of start your application, but really give you the opportunity to get some insight into the university and really be able to kind of take you step by step through that entire process because it can be very overwhelming for any international student. Um, so I would basically say if you're looking at doing that, come, come, come check us out and, um, and be able to go through that process with you guys. Right. Right. So Felicia, uh, when we talk about uh, parents in particular, why should they send their kids to the University of East London? With the, uh, with the mentality of Indian parents. Of course. No, and it's a really valid question because, of course, uh, parents are the ones who are, who are typically going to pay for their son or daughter's education. So I think when, when you think of parents, they think, what is going to be the return on investment on this? I want, of course, they want their, their son or daughter to have a fantastic educational experience. But at the end of the day, really what parents want is for their, their son or daughter to, have, to get a job. And I think one of the things that really reassures, I think, parents and specifically our, our Indian parents is that because we have so much career coaching, we have the mental wealth and the career passport, those aspects are really the pieces that enable students to set themselves apart. Now, the way that they do that is that we, as a careers led and careers first university, we focus on that kind of endpoint first, right from the beginning. So what, whether they're, stu they're whether son or daughter is studying 
uh, fashion to architecture to public health, they will be getting all of these skills. So you're looking at kind of that emotional intelligence, the digital proficiency. So things that really resonate with an industry right now. And again, really sets up the student to be able to kind of go to employers once they've completed their job or they're looking for a placement or an internship um, to be able to say, hey, this is, this is what sets me apart. And in addition to that, of course, we, well, we have a whole support network um, for our students. So whether it's helping students create a CV, because at some sometimes it's just uh, at the point where, a stu where students actually just struggle to have that initial point of contact. And those aren't skills that you typically learn. So we have a whole department with our careers kind of coaching, support, um, how to do interviews effi efficiently and effectively. Right. Uh, so again, those, those, in those skills that are difficult to kind of implement, we've actually implemented them because at the end of the day, if students have uh, consistent uh, exposure to that, when the day comes mm -hmm. that they, they find their dream job, they know exactly what they want to apply for, they can go in, they have the qualifications, they have the career passport, and they have that internal confidence to know um, what makes them different and be able to secure that job. Or at right. least we hope they do. <laughs> well, we all hope that they do. So Felicia, thank you so much for being here with us this evening. Thank you so much for having me. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, this was Felicia Warner with us. And in the last few minutes, we spoke to her about uh, the East London University. And uh, coming up next will be even more guests that come to Global Collions. And we'll be speaking to all of them. So with this and a lot more that you need to know, make sure that you keep watching TFF. Thank you.